Today we're talking about Attorney General William Barr, a man who this week forced everyone to ask themselves the incredibly tough question, do we miss Jeff Sessions? A viewer wrote in asking if I was going to look into the controversial acts of the US Attorney General. And after clarifying, because this is the Justice Department we're talking about, that list of controversial acts could fill a John Steinbeck novel, it looks like today we're stuck between a stone and a hard place. With the majority of coverage of this story, you'd think William Barr was the precursor to Judge Dredd. Man, the founders really had a good thing going with that separation of powers idea. Should have kept it going before making the head of the Department of Justice judge, jury, and executioner. Today I want to answer two questions. First, what does the Attorney General actually do? And second, what the heck just happened this week? So first, let me answer a question all of my family's friends ask me every time I come home for the holidays. So what exactly is it you do again? You have a podcast on YouTube and people pay you for that? The Attorney General of the United States has several jobs, none of which are judge, jury, or executioner. Instead, the position of his that has recently been under scrutiny is, he's the head prosecutor for the United States. This means that if America wants to take someone to court for breaking the law, he's the guy who's going to be heading the project of putting together America's case in court. Now this is where things get strange though, because congratulations guys, you won the case. Roger Stone was found guilty on seven counts. Now all you have to do is produce sentencing documents and not trip over the finish line. And they tripped over the finish line. The president this week attacked federal prosecutors who wanted his longtime advisor to do up to nine years in prison for lying to Congress and witness tampering. Barr overruled the prosecutors and did recommend a lesser sentence. The lawyers in charge of throwing the book at the perp just kind of decided to hand it to him instead. I mean, he was only found guilty of lying to Congress, intimidating witnesses, and forging documents. It's not like he had weed on him. You need mandatory minimums for those people. In response to the Attorney General calling the judge of the case to make a deal, well, all the prosecutors quit. And since then, a new prosecutor has been assigned to the case. I'm sure he's given it his all. This newest sentencing recommendation just says it was a perfect call, complete exoneration. So, okay, Stone got a letter of recommendation from the Department of Justice. What the heck does that mean? Well, despite the fact that Justice makes up a pretty large part of the Department of Justice's name, they don't actually have final say in the decision. They're not a judge. Instead, they're giving the judge a sentencing recommendation, or in this case, multiple conflicting sentencing recommendations. You have the first memo from the prosecutors recommending between seven and nine years in the clink. And then a day later, the judge got another memo saying, wait, did you really hit send on that first memo? Ah, uh, please disregard the previous email. What I meant to say was, a sentence of between seven and nine years imprisonment, however, could be considered excessive and unwarranted under these circumstances. Ultimately, the government defers to the court as to what specific sentence is appropriate under the facts and circumstances of this case. Phew, I think that should quietly resolve this situation. So, all right, we're referring to the court. Who's the judge? Well, never fear, because you're never going to guess who's tweeting about this person. Is this the judge that put Paul Manafort in solitary confinement, something that not even mobster Al Capone had to endure? How did she treat crooked Hillary? Just asking. Well, if it is that judge, something tells me she's not going to disregard previous email. Enter Obama appointee, Judge Amy Berman Jackson, who has the final say over the sentencing of Stone. That is, unless Trump decides to pardon or commute his sentence, in which case all oh, this was a bit of a waste of time. Just to address Trump's tweet, she dismissed a lawsuit alleging Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server had led to the Benghazi attack, 
And I think we hit 2016 Republican bingo with that one. And she also sends Manafort to be taken into custody after he violated his bail. And while in custody, unrelated to the court order, the prison officials gave him solitary confinement. Beyond that, I'm not sure how much left there is to say on this specific concern until we get a ruling from the judge. So I'm not going to waste your time speculating. <laughs> there you have it. Exactly what happened. Bring this huge. Until we see what happens next, thank you and that's all I have to say about that. Huh, turns out I didn't have much to say about that. Hello YouTube. First I'd like to thank my patrons for helping me put out my videos. If you want to support independent nonpartisan news looking into the overlooked, join this growing group of exceptional individuals by clicking on the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and lastly, as always, thank you for watching.